Everyone has a list of items that they want to try at least once in their lifetime. Some make it a bucket list of life-changing moments like visiting the Taj Mahal or maybe seeing the Dalai Lama. Others pack it full of adventures like skydiving or whitewater rafting. And then there are those who just simply want to learn to cook a gourmet meal or hey, spend a day at a spa. I'm Kim Sullivan and my bucket list kind of has a bit of all of that. Number eight on there is my own TV show my own TV show that helps you accomplish an item off your list. Welcome to The Checklist. You'll be surprised by how much we can check off right here in your neighborhood. So today's checklist item is one of the Old Port's newest attractions. I will admit that when I received John Ippolit's email, I uh, kind of freaked out and then I cheated a little and I tested it on my own because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Imagine being a superhero for the day. No, even better, imagine being Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Imagine plunging face first 155 feet down a tower. That is exactly what this checklist is about. And uh, we called John, we told him to meet us here at the old conveyor tower in the old port of Montreal because Team Heavy Ride is going to help us checklist off Decalade. So uh, let's give him a call and see where he is. It's scary. I won't tell him I did it. <laughs> Hey, John? Yes, hi. Hi, it's Kim Sullivan from Met TV. Are you anywhere near the old port? Yes, I am on my way. I've arrived. Are you uh, near the pier? Yes, I'm walking down right now. Are you the guy in red? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay. Oh, he's hot. <laughs> I kind of don't mind jumping off a building with this guy. He's good looking. Hi. Excited? I am so excited. <laughs> this Hi. is scaring me though. <laughs> I'm Kim. Um, this is scaring you? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about it until now. But it was on your bucket list. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seeing it in person though is impressive. So why was this on your bucket list? Why jumping off a building is something you always wanted to do? Well, I wanted to push my limits and I wanted to do something really crazy and I want to like uh, do something that's like mind over matter and mind over body. So that's what... Uh, that's pretty close to it. This... I don't know if I'm going to actually end up doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to because I have to. Okay. I will tell you that it is definitely mind over matter. But uh, we're jumping off a building, so maybe we should go get our harnesses on? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go get our harnesses on. Let's go. <laughs> I'm with Louis L'Esperance, instructor level 5 at Decalade.com, part of Team Heavy Ride. And we are here uh, in the old port. It is a new location for Decalade.com. You guys are elsewhere in Quebec. Yes, we are. We're in Quebec City, L'Hôtel Peu. We also use in Chicoutimi, a cliff over there. We're using also in uh, Coaticook, there's a suspended bridge over there. Nice. On occasion, we're in uh, Brassard at uh, L'Hôtel Alt. Okay. And we're setting up uh, over the weekend in Saint Agathe at the Tyro Park. But this is quite a unique setting because it's right in the heart of downtown Montreal. Yes, it is. It's in old Montreal, so it's a terrific area. And we're surrounded by water. Well, you're using the old conveyor tower. Yes. Is the tower itself safe? Of course it is. <laughs> of course, why would we? We wouldn't be here if it wasn't. <laughs> we're going up how many floors up? The equivalent about 15 floors. Okay. So that's the physical part of the uh, equation here. Because the mental part is? Yes, it's leaning forward. <laughs> Tipping off the building. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> That's totally mind over matter. Yes, it is. Because you're looking down at the water. Yep. 15 stories high. About 150 feet. Crazy. <laughs> but people as young as the age of five can do this. Yep. And all the way up to 82. Our eldest is 82. And actually, the eldest one that did it here 
was climbing the stairs also. Really? And it was my mom, so. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Rain, shine, snow, nothing stops to get out of Nothing, nothing at all. Okay. The only time we'll close if there's a thunderstorm, aside from that, we're always there. Are you hoping for lightning or do you think we're gonna be no, good? No, I think we'll be good. We'll be good? Yeah. I think we're ready to get souped up. Yeah, good. Let's do this. Yes. Let's go. Men first. All right, thank you. So the wind is getting pretty intense, and I just want to tell you that it's a lot worse up there. <laughs> I don't want to scare you. Now you're making me feel more at ease. <laughs> butterflies still now that the equipment is going on <laughs> right hand that's what you're gonna do when you look down the building <laughs> I'm psyching him out I know. <laughs> don't make me give up here let's go I'll miss okay. I'm a glob. So, basically, décalade is a process of mind over body. It really is. <laughs> I always say, whatever you heard about uh, over your limit, living the present moment, take all, everything you've heard and put it in a small capsule, you're going to be swallowing that. <laughs> How's that? Really concentrated. That's good. That's okay? good. <laughs> so basically, the way it works is there's two movements to remember. Only two. Okay. First one is keep your feet wide, knees okay. bent. That's what's going to hold you to the wall. And when you walk, you walk like this. Okay. Okay. The second one is the motion of your hand. Your hand is going to be following your waist. Okay. That's all it does. So it starts from the right because you're right-handed. Okay. Push the rope towards your left, and that's where you stop. But the further you go, the more brake you put on. Okay. It's like a pedal brake in a car. So the minute you put the brake on, it starts reducing your speed. The further you go, the more you brake. Okay. So the more I pull this way. Yeah. Right. So it's not an instant break, but it's the, okay. it's going to slow Progressive. you down slowly. Okay, okay. You, you'll feel it even slower because it's in your mind, but <laughs> it works. Don't worry. And to comfort you, the guy at the bottom can make you break too. So if There's you forget, <laughs> <laughs> you're giving us the punch here. Okay, for that. I'm okay. good. So basically, what we're going to do is going to bring you up. Okay. And then we'll tie you to the rope. So the rope is going to be tied behind you. Comes to the right. We'll check everything again. And then we'll do a brake test. So basically, we're going to ask you to put your brake on and try to walk out. OK. OK, so you put your foot first, just to make sure you don't slip. And then you'll feel the tension behind. OK, so once that's okay. done, then you'll have to pull on the rope, because it's very heavy in front of you. So you'll pull on it till you reach a corner. OK. And that's where the butterfly starts. <laughs> you just take the time to breathe. It's free. Take advantage of it. And then you're going to sit down on the ledge. OK, so you extend your arm, your legs tilt the ledge under behind your knees. You sit both legs, and the first thing you do is a thumb up to the person on the ground. So you follow your rope all the way down to make sure you give the thumb to the right person okay. at the other end. That's the first thing. Whether you're panicking or not, thumb up first, <laughs> just in case there's a, win, a gust of wind that throws you off. We we'll okay. want to make sure he's ready for that. OK? okay so once the thumb is up, then we're going to talk if you want. But basically, from there on, what you have to do is move your bums forward till the roof gets the edge here. Now just think that the edge is gonna be, uh, the wall is about this far from where we're gonna be sitting. Okay. So it's behind, so you're not gonna feel it right away. Okay. And when we sit, when you're gonna sit, the rope is gonna go between your legs, so basically just keep your hand open on your thigh and just leave it like that. Okay. Okay. So now we're moving our bones and we're at the edge. Take a good deep breath. And my best recommendation at this point is as, you, as you'll exhale, bend your shoulders forward without hesitation. The more hesitation you put to it, the more torture it is. Okay. Okay, and believe me. Just go for I it. I have a little admission. I didn't want to tell you this before, 
but I actually came and tested beforehand. <laughs> That's why I don't look too nervous right now. But believe me, she will be nervous again on the edge. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be the only one. Yeah, so basically, as I said, you move your shoulders forward, and the faster you'll do it, the faster you'll get your feet on the wall. Okay. Okay, so the minute you tip off, you'll touch the wall, and then you start walking down a couple of steps, put your brake on, take a right, He's going to be there show, to be able to film you. Okay. Yeah, okay. And you keep going down, and there's going to be a small step, which is about here. You go down that step, put your brake on, and once you're on the brake, try to push yourself off with both legs at the same time. So you're going to be jumping off the wall, okay. coming back on. Now, I, I came back very quickly, but you're going to be moving like this. It's a okay. bit like the man on the moon. Okay. This is what you're looking like. You're tingling it off the wall. Once you've taken back the equilibrium for you, and you can push yourself off the wall and let the rope slip at the same time. So you're going to be bouncing off, coming down like this. Okay. And every time you push yourself off, you let it slide. And every time you come back towards the wall, you break, put your brake back on so you can stand and lean into the wall. Okay. So it's okay. So if you don't bend into the wall, you're going to be bouncing off. So just make sure that you bend okay. in and keep your feet flat on it. Because the minute your feet touch the wall, even if it's a tippy toe, you're bouncing off. Okay. So make sure it's a flat foot on it. Okay. Okay. Remember we did the thumb up to the first? Yeah. And he got you when you got down. At all time, he's in control of your rope. Okay. So if for some reason or another you panic, you lose consciousness, you lose control, he's in total control over you. He can stop you, he can bring you back to the wall, he can push you away, bring you sideways. He has complete control over you. Okay, that's reassuring. Okay. <laughs> so you ready? Ready. You're ready. Good. Good. Here we go. Let's do it. Now that we're up here, 15 stories in the sky, beautiful view line of Montreal. How's, how's the emotions? Um, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I don't know what to say, but I'm trying to enjoy the view but I'm also trying to mind myself to go down here. <laughs> it's going to be good. Mind over matter. Yeah, yeah, mind. yeah. The wind is strong. I will admit the wind is making me nervous. So. <laughs> you can't be nervous because I'm really nervous. <laughs> Oh, I'm falling, eh? 
That's an amazing feeling. You guys are the best. Oh. You made me wait long. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be as scared to do it again. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That yeah. is amazing. How did you feel? Uh, all I have to say is check. <laughs> that was amazing. I never had a feeling like that in my life. Oh, I got to regain composure.